Many people have probably heard about the recent decline in honeybees called colony collapse disorder. With the recent honeybee collapse, growers have had problems acquiring honeybees because there just aren't the number of honeybees that they need to reach their pollination requirements. Prices of honeybee rentals have also gone up, so growers are paying more money per hive of honeybees. So what our research is looking at is how native bees can help with pollination in agricultural landscapes. I did a survey of native bees in Wisconsin Cranberry. I sampled at 15 different farms that were set in landscapes that ranged from a lot of woodland in the in the surrounding one kilometer to a lot of agriculture in the surrounding kilometer. And what we found was that bee abundance and bee diversity are positively associated with forest in the surrounding landscape. So with the when you have more smaller bits of forest, you have more abundant bees and more diverse bee communities. With forest edges, you have more light, and with more light, you have more flowers, and with more flowers, you have more bees. So this suggests that maybe the forest fragments provide better or more resources for bees than the other habitat types. So what we already know from other research is that in order to maintain native bee populations in an area, we need to maintain nesting resources for ground nesting bees as well as stem nesting bees and, f- and flower resources so that they have food throughout the entire flight season. For farmers, this means providing flowers on their property when their crop is not in bloom. We think that native bees can provide a significant contribution to Wisconsin agriculture. And from our research, we hope to be able to help farmers reduce their dependence on honeybees by enhancing native bees on their farms.